Hello, I'm Jeff. Welcome to the Walk Life. I'm Will, and this is my playground. In this video, I'm going to make something a little bit experimental. I love these melons or squashes. They're called si gua in Chinese. Apparently, it's like moe patra squash, something like that. You can see it in the title on what exactly it is. And it's really great. I love it. It tastes so good. It's so silky smooth. And one thing this gets cooked a lot is with clam. And then you can have it over these very thin、um, noodles that I'm going to make today. But my husband is allergic to clam, so I thought maybe I'll use these kind of gluten fried gluten balls. I think that goes really well with this, and have a vegetarian version of this noodle. So let's see how it goes. I hope it will turn out just as well as I had imagined in my head. Um, so having a little pan here, just medium heat, it's okay. I'm gonna start with a little bit of ginger. Just let it go. This looks like a lot, but it's going to shrink. And one other thing I remember when I was younger, I my mom would just you know let me cook and I was cooking this. I was like, oh the skin looks thin, it looks fine. Maybe I'll just cook it with the skin, so I didn't peel it. And my mom asked me, you like it with the skin on? I was like,、uh, maybe when I was looking at it, it seemed okay, but it doesn't seem to be the case. And I we ate it and nope, it was a bad idea to keep the skin on. So I, now I peel them,、um, but it's something that I love. Um, what I do with my mom in the kitchen is that she just lets me try everything, and I think that really just cultivated my, you know, desire to try different things. Okay, so just as usual, whenever I cook vegetables, I always have the oils in there.、Um, sorry, not oil, salt in there first, because I always forget、um, later on, and they get all all over the place a little bit. Okay. So, because it's a melon, it does or a squash, it does have a lot of moistures in there.、Um, so we'll let it cook down. We、we'll、just let it steam a little bit. And I will because it will go with the noodle, so it's gonna be a little bit brothy. So I'm also bringing a little bit of a stock. You can use vegetable stock.、Uh, just remember, like, don't have tomato in it because when you have tomato in it, it will really make the flavor very tomatoy, which is not what we want. So again, it looks like a lot, but it's really going to cook down. So I just have the water liquid in there and let it cook, and we'll steam it, and we'll be right back. It's about like ten minutes or so,、um, and I also put in the gluten ball. You can see they kind of soften. It's quite nice in there. It's a nice, nice big pot of soup here with the gluten ball and also. The、um, melon or the squash coming here together. It does turn a little bit black. I think you can use a little trickle, like putting a little bit of white vinegar, and it will help. But I quite frankly don't mind it, and I don't want that little weird, like sour taste afterwards. Okay. So this is pretty much good to go. I'm gonna let it simmer so the glutinous ball will cook all the way through. While it does that, I'm gonna cook my noodle. It takes about two minutes, so let's swap the pot. So here is the boiling pot, and just gonna do a quick two minute. It will go in there, so I let it swish around a little bit. Oh, <laughs> we we don't need to eat this. <laughs> okay. So this is called <coughs> mian xian or vermicelli, and <coughs> one of the really good things about this is usually it has a little bit salt in there, so you don't need to salt the water. And I quite love, just kind of love the texture in this. I think when I was younger, I didn't quite like it because it doesn't give you that much chew that you get from ramen and so on and so forth. But being here, like as I get older, I think my palate actually grows a little bit more. So I'm just gonna let it boil all the way through here for a couple minutes, 
and then I'll rinse it under cold water per instruction here to make it a little bit more QQ as Chinese people like to say. It just has that nice elasticity, not quite rubbery, just has a nice bite, nice chew to it. Let's give it a try and see if it's ready. It's uh, also called a long life noodle because you can see how long it is. Mm. It's really good. So I'm gonna take it out before it gets overcooked. It's really hot. Right. Rinse it on the cold water and then I'll be right back. The noodle has been rinsing on the cold water. So it's nice and good. Just gonna use a little bit of sesame oil because I like the sesame oil. So it won't stick together. As you can see, it comes out to be a lot. We're not gonna be able to finish in one meal. Um, so having a little bit of oil in there will prevent it from sticking together once it cools down completely or once you wanna eat it again. Um, you can use, if you like, you can also use uh, oil, a like flavorless oil, such as canola oil. I just really like the taste of sesame oil. Um, okay, so I'm ready to plate together. So I'm going to use my plate here. And I'm gonna bring up, oh, oh, I think, look at really, really long, really long. I think you're not like supposed to break it. So I'm gonna bring it down like this. Okay, here we go. Broke it properly there. I'll put it aside. run it to this side a little bit. The other thing that you can, if you can get it, you can get like the Vietnamese vermicelli. You can also get um, in Japanese store, you can buy what soman is. So also means like longevity. And then this here. Now we have a really nice meal. Just want a sauce in there too. So here is my Sigua Mian Jing Mian Xian, or this um, squash with gluten rice balls and thin vermicelli. So I'm gonna first try the noodle. Ooh. Again, it's such a challenge. And, and see how it tastes. Mm. Still has that very nice chew. I think I'm actually gonna let it soak in the soup a little bit longer and probably won't go soggy actually. Very sweet and tender. Don't mind the color, really don't mind the color. We'll come back. I think you can use a little bit more salt. It's a bit bland right now, but I like the texture with it. And I think it contrasts well with the noodle if you eat it together. Oh, I'm burning my tongue. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Doing this just for you. It's so hard, but I'm gonna try it. And I'm gonna try this glutinous ball. A nice bite too. Mmm, nice and chewy. Mm. Goes really well with the whole dish together. I think it will be quite different if I made it with clam, but I'm really happy how it turns out right now. Um, especially again, if it's on a colder day, nice soupy slurpy noodle with all vegetables. I hope you like it and give it a try. Until next time, keep on cooking. Thank you for sticking around till the end. I hope you enjoyed the video, the recipe, and also get to try out a little bit. Feel free to join the community, leave your comments or suggestions down below. Any new ideas for a new recipe you want me to try or want me to test out, happy to do it here for you. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and subscribe so you can always hear the latest from me. Thank you for dropping by The Walk Life.